today on Del Oro News. Get in the holiday spirit by joining some of our Golden Eagles and singing their favorite Christmas carol. You'll find out about how to help the less fortunate by donating to the Salvation Army. Check out The Hobbit with our pop culture reporters. So hang in there for much, 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 much more. Salutations. Before we start the actual show today, we have a quick installment of Pop Culture. For today's discussion, we will be talking about Middle Earth. Or in non-geeky talk, he is referencing The Hobbit. The new Hobbit movie is coming out, bringing in an exciting adventure with Bilbo, Gandalf, a group of dwarves who are close companions, and Smog, the evil, mighty dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, The Hobbit takes place before the original Lord of the Rings trilogy and is expected to be a blockbuster. So excited! The director, Peter Jackson, has been known for his astonishing movies such as King Kong and... The original Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yes, the original director is in fact directing this movie, so you geeks can sleep in peace tonight. The set release date for The Hobbit is now the 14th of December. Rumor has it Stephen Colbert will be making an appearance in the movie also. Wow! Yes, but where he will be fit into a movie where a hobbit meets with a group of mountain dwarves in search for a stolen treasure and in the slaying of a monster dragon that hoards treasure, I have no idea. I'm, I'm sure Peter Jackson will make the right move, you know. So Jay. Yes, Jay. I'm going to be going to the midnight release and I'd suggest you and the rest of the school also go. Thanks for listening to our show. I'm Jess Varcaro. And I'm Jay Shane. Thanks for watching Pop, Pop Culture. Culture. Ah. Good morning, Delaro. I'm James Newbert. And I'm Lida Landry. To kick off today's show, our photographer Will Richardson wants to show you just how talented Eagles are. Let's check out the art show. Many people have already started their Christmas shopping in stores around the country, and in front of many of these stores are the iconic red kettles of the Salvation Army. The kettle started about, I believe, about 102 years ago, actually in San Francisco, California. A uh, Salvation Army officer started that, and um, he had a kettle, painted it red, and was collecting uh, money from people that were coming and going on the pier to raise money. Uh, for the needy people of San Francisco. And so we generally start at the week of Thanksgiving, uh, the, the bell ringing, and uh, we collect money from, from the kettles uh, until Christmas Eve. It's really, really a nice charity that uh, I can trust. This well-known charity has been doing good for over 100 years thanks to all the people who take time from their holiday season to help others. It's done during this time of the season. There has been different times of the season, uh, different times of the year where they have, have done it just for like a one day uh, fundraiser. 
but normally it is always done as a uh, as a seasonal uh, Christmas holiday uh, fundraiser. After uh, counting through the whole season and the different people that stand at the kettles, probably about 150 different people that come out and do that. Just as there are many people who volunteer, there are also many people who donate money. I donate to the Red Kettle Charity because it does a lot of good in the neighborhood. I think that um, it does a lot of good for people in the community. Um, when, people, when people give, it makes them feel better. And when people know that other people out there care for them, it helps them maybe get back on their feet as well. So the next time you're at the grocery store, make sure to toss a little change in the kettle. For more information on donating, go to donate.salvationarmyusa.org for more info. Reporting for Delaware News, I'm Christian Burnett. Thank you, Kylie. Although we might not want to think about it, next week is finals. Our reporter and photographer, Trevor Greenside, has some helpful tips on getting you ready for finals. Attention, Delora. The, the finals are next week, and some of your teachers came to us to tell you what you should be doing in preparation for the big exams. When you're preparing for finals, make sure that you get plenty of sleep beforehand and um, eat well and um, just work really hard at going back over your notes and make things fresh in your mind. Brain is a muscle, and any muscle requires um, repetitive practice, but not all at once, broken up in small chunks. And so any studying you do for the final should be done um, in 10 to 20 minute increments, probably a week, two weeks in advance. Prepare for your final exam, bend down, put your lips between your legs and kiss your rear end goodbye. In preparing for the final, practice in front of a mirror. Your eyes swivel without moving your head. You need to be able to look at your neighbor's paper without moving your head. Moving your head draws attention to the teacher. Head down, eyes left, eyes right, eyes left. Put some small print things over there and see if you can read them. Put them over on the right side and see where uh, you should sit based on putting the smart kid on your right side or left side. Otherwise, you're good to go. Eating a good breakfast, like oatmeal or something high in complex carbohydrates, great idea. And stay hydrated throughout the day. The only thing you can do to prepare for your final exam is pray. Get on your knees and pray to any God you can. And pray. Good luck. See the pancreas. Digestive organ produces digestive enzymes in your Oh! I'm Trevor Greenside reporting live for Delaware News. Back to you, Jensen. Thanks, Trevor. I'm Lila Landry. And I'm Jensen Eaglebreck. Stay Golden Eagles. Before you go, here's a special treat from our news team. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Ha, ha, ha. Bells on bobtails ring. Making spirits rise. What fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. Oh! Jingle bells, jingle bells, Let's jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh.